We will discuss now some important organic compounds like ethanol and then later we will discuss about ethanoic acid. So, let us first take ethanol. The formula is C2H5OH. Now, ethanol its melting point is 156 Kelvin and boiling point is 351 Kelvin. It is quite inflammable, a light colored light liquid and it catches fire immediately. It is a good solvent. It not only dissolves in water easily, but also dissolves in uh, dissolves many other substances also due to which it is used to make medicines such as tincture iodine, cough syrups and various tonics. Now, uh, ethanol consumption is quite lethal. It affects the nervous system and impairs the nervous system and uh, in small quantities even if absolute alcohol or pure alcohol is taken, it causes death. Long term consumption of alcohol, it causes a lot of health problems. Let us uh, see some of the reactions of alcohol with sodium. When sodium metal is put in the test tube containing alcohol, immediately a reaction occurs and hydrogen gas is liberated. Hydrogen gas liberated can be tested by bringing a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube. The gas burns with a pop sound. Let us see the reaction, the chem balanced chemical equation 2 C 2 H 5 O H plus 2 Na gives 2 C 2 H 5 O Na plus H 2. This compound is called sodium ethoxide. On heating with concentrated sulfuric acid, ethanol forms ethene by the loss of one water molecule. So, here concentrated sulfuric acid acts as a dehydrating agent. It removes one water molecule from ethanol and the process is called dehydration. So, dehydration is done by heating ethanol with concentrated sulfuric acid which forms ethene and one mo wa water molecule is given. Now, let us study how do alcohol affects living beings as I have right now discussed intake of alcohol causes various health problems. If uh, alcohol is consumed for a long time, it causes a lot of health problems, it slows down the metabolic process and also results in lack of coordination and it causes mental confusion, drowsiness. The uh, sense of judgment, muscular coordination also get impaired. So, though it is a social practice to consume alcohol, but it should be avoided, it should not be taken because it causes a lot of uh, health problems and uh, so many diseases can be caused by it. Another uh, very poisonous uh, alcohol is methanol. Here we were talking about ethanol and here it is methanol CH3OH. Methanol is a poisonous compound and if it is taken, it causes death straight away. Because if it is taken inside the body, it goes to liver and get oxidized to methanol an aldehyde and it reacts readily with the components of the cell. The protoplasm of the cell gets coagulated just like when you boil the egg, the egg gets coagulated in the same manner the protoplasm of the cell gets coagulated. Methanol also affects the optic nerves and it causes blindness also. Now, Ethanol is a very good solvent and it is used for industrial purposes. To prevent that it, it should not be used for drinking purposes, some poisonous substances like methanol is added to ethanol to make it unfit for drinking. Also sometimes some dye is added to ethanol to uh, sometimes blue colored 
ethanol you may might uh, see that is to make it unfit for drinking purposes and this type of uh, an alcohol is called denatured alcohol so that it does not remain fit for drinking purposes it should be used for only for the industrial purposes now we will study about ethanoic acid what is the formula of ethanoic acid CH3COOH the functional group is carboxylic acid group COOH ethanoic acid readily dissolves in water and is used as vinegar in the kitchen it is a very good preservative it is used to preserve the pickles about 5 to 8 percent solution of acetic acid in water forms the vinegar acetic acid is the common name of ethanoic acid its melting point is very low 290 kelvin that is why it freezes in the winter and this is the reason it is also called glacial acetic acid it is a weak acid unlike hcl it partially ionizes when dissolved in water it forms acetate ion and hydrogen ions now let us discuss the chemical properties of ethanoic acid for this first property esterification first of all an activity is performed in the lab take a test tube and take about 1 ml of ethanol and ethanoic acid in the test tube and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid and then put it in a beaker containing water and heat it over a Bunsen burner heat it about 5 minutes and then pour this solution into a beaker containing distilled water and then smell it on smelling you will find that it gives a fruity smell very pleasant smell and this fruity smell and the present pleasant smell is due to the formation of ester so it is the property of both ethanol and ethanoic acid to combine with each other in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid to form ester and the process is called esterification see this equation balanced chemical equation to show the reaction which takes place during esterification CH3COOH plus C2H5OH gives CH3COOC2H5 plus H2O. This is the formula of the ester. Its common name is ethyl acetate and IUPAC name is ethyl ethanoate. Now, uh, because esters have a fruity smell, they are also used. They are used to make perfumes and flavoring agents. And uh, if alkaline hydrolysis of esters is done, then sodium salt is obtained, sodium salt of the carboxylic acid is obtained and the alcohol is obtained and the process is called saponification, alkaline hydrolysis of ester with an alkali like sodium hydroxide. See the chemical equation representing the chemical reaction CH3COOC2H5 plus NaOH gives CH3COONA plus C2H5OH. So, we get the sodium salt of the carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid and the alcohol, ethanol back again. And this process of saponification is used in making the soap by heating the uh, fat any uh, plant fat, uh, vegetable oils or animal fat with alkali, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. By the process of saponification, soap can be prepared. Now, let us discuss another property of ethanoic acid that is its reaction with a base or an alkali like sodium hydroxide. It reacts with 
sodium hydroxide to form the salt. So, it forms sodium acetate or sodium ethanoate. See this chemical equation NaOH plus CH3COOH gives CH3COONA plus H2O. You should do the practice of writing these chemical equations. Th third property we will see the reaction of the acid with sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate or any of the carbonate or any of the hydrogen carbonate you have already studied the properties of the acids that acids re on reacting with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates liberate carbon dioxide gas. In the same manner ethanoic acid also liberates carbon dioxide gas with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. For this an activity can be performed in the lab. Take about 1 ml of ethanoic acid in a test tube and add to it either sodium carbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate and fit it, fit the apparatus as shown in the diagram. As soon as you add sodium carbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate and effervescence starts, bubbles start rising up, the gas is formed which passes through the glass tube into the other test tube containing lime water. But will you see? You have already studied about it. Lime water will turn milky. What does it show? It shows the presence of liberation of carbon dioxide gas. So, like all other acids, ethanoic acids also behave in the same manner. See this balanced chemical equations representing the chemical reaction. 2 CH3COOH plus Na2CO3 gives 2 CH3COONA plus CO2 plus H2O and CH3COOH plus NaHCO3 gives CH3COONA plus CO2 plus H2O. So, this is what sodium acetate forms in both cases and carbon dioxide is liberated in both the cases.